Well, hello again. Uh, let's see. Got one more for you, at least for the season, unless I happen across another one. Some weird estate sale out there. <clears throat> I don't know. I didn't think I'd find more, but you know, sometimes you do. Um, anyway, let's see, I'm not really sure what brand of box this is or if it's even really a toolbox, but <clears throat> it does have a logo here, but I, it's so far gone that there's no telling. I don't know. It looks more like something for like musical instruments or something like that. Anyway, um, let's crack it open, see what we find. So let's see here. There's a lot of, a lot of stuff going on. So let's start with this square. It looks like wood and brass and uh, Raybone, Rabone, I don't know. Like, well, I'll maybe look that up and figure it out. It looks pretty new, so I'm not real, I don't know, um, thinking it's real valuable or anything, but you know, value and worth are kind of in the eye of the beholder. Pardon me here, I just need to. It's trying to get this in in shot there. See if it'll focus even. Yeah, it does. Cool. Anyway, I'll set that up there. And I dig through some other stuff. Let's see. I've got a unbranded wooden level, it's kind of nice, um, little brass, I don't know, the brand might actually be on the flip side of this piece of brass on here, so I don't know, it looks like it was cut, so it might be homemade, or just, you know, somebody getting a little overzealous, um, let's see. Got a Stanley chisel, not exciting really, but plastic handle, <clears throat> definitely worth sharpening and reusing. Um, let's see what else we got. An offset Stanley 10 inch, 250 millimeter miter saw, 12 teeth, 13 points. That's newer thing, but definitely a good user. Um, we got here. Let's see, who's this? Unmarked hammer. Um, says four pounds USA is all I can make out. Not really sure. Uh, let me run this in the grinder or the wire wheel real quick. All right, well, it says super duty on it. That's about it. Um, I have to clean that up later. Homemade handle looks like off the end of a shovel. <laughs> anyway, pretty good condition. Um, <clears throat> let's see, we got a, looks like a Starrett. Yeah, Starrett combination square. Pretty nice one. I have some extra scribes, but this one doesn't have a hole for it, so. It's a bit of an unusual pattern, even for sterrets. Um, and then it's not marked. Some, a lot of sometimes they're marked, stamped on the edge here. 
This one is not, so I'm gonna have to double check that this is, but the ruler is. So, um, they tend to only have be the ones with the waffle patterns, but this is, I don't know that for sure. It says number 94, so. Um, let's see. Is there a brand on this? No. Oh wait, maybe Distin. Anyway, I don't know if you can see that. It's pretty cool. Um, looks like a chisel handle. It's got a tag on it, for, probably from whoever bought it, wherever they bought it. I don't know. Another little saw. There is a etching on it. It's very faint. Can't really make it out, but got the owner's initials carved in it. Anyway, that'd be a good user too. Let's see. Another chisel, the tag on it too, says five. I don't know. And marked Italy. But that's it, black handle, it's got a split. Seems to be in decent shape. The handle is actually says Stanley on it, but I'm not sure that that's, I don't know, maybe. See a little jeweler saw, I don't really, uh, this type tends to be a little low rent, but <coughs> it was a group deal. So a uh, square file, nothing super exciting, homemade handle. See, we already went over that and this. Let's see what else we got. It's probably a butt gauge. I think that's what they call these. E Easy Mark three and a half inch butt gauge, Los Angeles, California. Um, those are generally, I believe, used for scribing out um, hinges for doors. So I've never actually used one. Let's see, what do we got here? Let's see, some homemade, seem to be homemade. Can't read the person's name. He engraved his name on them. Outside calipers. Ball peen hammer. Unbranded. Maybe unbranded. I'm not sure. A little, you know, probably a six ounce. <clears throat> Maybe an eight. I don't know. It's pretty nice. Decent little. What do we got here? A oh, little tack hammer. It's kind of cool. Um, wood handle, but it's got a split all the way down. So that'll need some repair or <clears throat> maybe a new handle, I don't know. I probably won't do anything to it because it's not something I need. But, um, see. Early craftsman, wood turning chisel. You can see the little logo there. It looks pretty well used. It's kind of short, but could still 
be a runner, I guess. Um, what do we got here? Unbranded. <sighs> Made in the USA. I don't know, it might be a Stanley. I don't, I'm not sure. It doesn't say it, but a lot of times. <laughs> Excuse me, <clears throat> got a lung full of that uh, dust there. A lot of times they just had a water slide decal on it, so, um, but it's all there. Sharp, no cracks in the mouth. See another ch uh, wood turning, wood carving chisel, maybe. Unbranded. Doesn't even have the country stamped on it. Feels cheap. Um, see another little plane made in the USA, probably a Stanley or that tends to be one of their color schemes is the red, white, and blue. And an even smaller one no markings on it whatsoever that I can find, but looks pretty rough casting, like, I don't know. Anyway, it's cute though, as my wife would say. Oh, let's see. Stanley 220. Pretty decent shape. <clears throat> I see a lot of these around actually, so not particularly rare or anything, but always good to have. Let's see, let's go with this other plane. What do we got? Stanley Rule and Level Company number 26. I don't know if you can see that or not, but. Um, pretty okay shape. I don't know. I don't know how to tell on these, but I'll look into this one a bit. It's kind of cool. I'm not a plain person. And what I got here? Lufkin. Wood ruler, collapsible, I don't know. These don't really hold up after they've been sitting around for a long time. So it's nice looking, obviously, but probably, I don't know. It seems like a useless design to me as far as accuracy goes, but who knows? Oh, let's see, woodworker's journal, little, Level that looks like a giveaway from a magazine subscription. <laughs> Let's see here. We got a LS S Starrett divider. I don't know. Are these dividers are like, I always think of them as a compass, but they don't have anything to draw, but maybe you could etch into some bluing or something for machining. These are in pretty good shape though, very sharp. Tiny little wood handled screwdriver, just says Germany on it. No. There's a Stanley. Number H1202. Made in USA. Owl. <clears throat> Some, I believe, unmarked pliers. I have a few pairs exactly like this, but they're all painted red and they usually say like West Germany on them, but this, these ones don't have anything stamped in them, but. 
not a fan of this kind of plier. See how they're like a little bit jacked up, but whatever. They're good for holding hot things. Let's see. Another little chisel, Sta Stanley D made in the USA. A little narrow one, looks like half inch or so. Wonder if that handle is what, maybe. Uh, it looks like it fits pretty well. Keep them together. Let's see what we got here, a little scraper. Kind of a nice one, nice and worn, but good, good angle too. And oh, a Greenlee draw knife looks like. I don't know, is that eight inches? That's what she said. Um, straight blade, no chips. It doesn't look like well used, but that's okay. Let's see what else we got. <coughs> A Pexto draw knife, curved, probably. What's that? Eight inch as well. This one looks like it's been sharpened a lot. It's got some chipping, but still definitely workable. I don't know. Some people really like the Pexto stuff, others not so much. I don't really mind as long as you can sharpen them and they work. And other than that, who gives a shit? Or whatever, sorry about the swearing. A little craftsman chisel, cold chisel, half inch. Some wrenches. Let's see. There's another one in here. Varlet, Varlet, 10, 8, 13, 14. Unmarked brand. What is this? Deventer Jean 12 and 15. I'm gonna have to look into these. These are definitely odd duck. What's this one? Hmm. Not sure. One quarter, three eighths. Kind of an interesting design with these indents. <clears throat> oh, cool. Here's a dreadnought. These are Canadian, I believe. And I usually give them to my wife. She likes them. It's kind of what she collects. And then another one of those weird indented ones, but looks like it's bent. Anyway, set those over here. And then a random screw. This has a tag. Angle plane guide, good old Pratt, good old Pratt. So I don't know if you can see that. The only reason I know what it is is that it says so on this tag, the original owner. That might be something that somebody out there needs for their plane. So, all right. Well, that's everything other than some dust and a rubber band, so. Yeah. Anyway, um, I still got some other things going on coming up pretty soon. As soon as I can find the time, it's been really cold and dark. <laughs> I'm sure everyone's kind of has that same complaint. So it's a little difficult to get out here sometimes. 
but I try to do it at least a little something every day. Anyway, um, that's it until the next time and be sure to comment, like, and subscribe if you want, that'd be awesome.